Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 4. Last time in the Sun Speckled Terrace, again, we were able to find out that there's more castaways on this planet than just the rescue squad. And one of them wants to have a word with us over there. And if you like rescuing people, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. Once again, as we gain castaways that we've rescued, Sometimes they'll give us little bonuses, sometimes they'll send us on side quests. For every one, we get an Ochi Pupper Point. To make our boy nice and strong. So Schnoz is an appraiser, runs the treasure catalog. Doing so, each of these little castaways that you'll run into, they essentially just give you a little bit of a bonus in certain things. They'll be looking for you to help them out with collections. In this case, the treasure catalog. Basically, this is just another cheap and easy way to get yourself more raw materials. And you'll need this. If you intend to 100% the game. This is where you can see all the treasures you've collected. How many of them typically will be in the series. And then when you collect a series completely, of course, you get a little badge. And more raw materials. Pretty nice. So nothing doing right now. Nothing special about that. But before we head out, we do have some pepper points we need to spend. Gotta master some skills. <laughs> Listen to that. That's crazy. All right. So let's see what some choices we have here. Ochi can be can heal itself. Ooh, this is really convenient. Um, we don't have enough for that yet, though. Yeah, I'm not super worried about using Ochi to attack yet. Convenient, but... Hmm. We only have two. You know, we'll hold off on this one for now. In the first area, it's not so much of an importance. I wouldn't worry about it. But of course, the more you play, the more the area expands. This is basically just going to be Colin telling you now that when you hit a certain sparkleum threshold, you'll unlock a new area. The Blossoming Arcadia. We're not going to head there yet. I thought about bouncing around, but... I don't remember which of the Pikmins I did that in. Maybe three or one. I don't know. It probably feels nice just to get these all kind of knocked out sequentially. And we'll be even better prepared when we do move on to new areas. We're 42% done. We got 15. Oh, it's... it's what am I saying? It's adding up the treasures underground as well. And three onions. That doesn't seem accurate. And then we've got yellow and red. There's actually quite a lot that you can do once you figure out the dynamic of this little water area. The difficulty though being, being though, what am I trying to say? Um, it takes 30 to freeze this. And there is, if you see in the top right corner, something interesting up there. I don't know if there's another way to get. I'll just let it do it. Do it like this. I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna replace this almost immediately when I get back. But thanks, Colin. There's just a lot to do. All right. I'm gonna need all of you to stop talking to me. This is not my first Pikmin rodeo. We do have enough Pikmin though, presently. We can do a little bit of damage over in this area. Hmm. First things first, I'm the realist. Let's go ahead and get our reds and push this bag. It's convenient too when you play, quality of life thing of course. The game is pretty reflective of knowing when you've got enough of the right kinds of Pikmin. 
it doesn't force you to throw in a necessary amount, which is great. You can, of course, but there's like a bit of like a haptic feedback almost that you get when you are bringing your Pikmin to do something. It it sort of stops you. Oh, there's a suspicious looking fella over there. Hmm, we'll check that out in a moment. But first we gotta do some pot. Heck yeah. Another treasure under here. This is just a one-er. Oh, there's two. Button, button. Who's got the button? All right. I'm just kind of meandering right here. I think this is where we found the thing and the stuff. And I'd like to do... We'll come back to that thing that's over there hanging out. That thing is what I refer to it as. Let's go ahead and... Kill this baby bull board. And now you're dead. Okay. I think 13 ice Pikmin should be enough. And I, I do want to move the base here in a moment. I probably should have done this first, but... Oops. Yeah, ice Pikmin, like I said before, super broken. Incredible. We're going to move the base here. All your base are belong to us. That's a novel reference. No one's heard that before. Okay. So... I think our other Pikmin are at the former place that we went. I think... Let me check the, the shortcuts here. In the future... We don't really have the ability to do this yet, but... You should be able to... This is a bit of a spoiler, I guess. Ochi will be able to go and collect your Pikmin for you, which is incredible. It kind of cheeses the game a little bit. Where are the rest of my Pikmin at? Oh, they're over here. Look this way. Where is it? Oh, they, wait, are they at where I was? Sometimes when you change the location of your base, it will bring your Pikmin to that spot. I, I for some reason, didn't see that. Surprising that I'm an idiot. Okay. So... We want to get up there. It's funny that I've... I have played this game in its entirety, and it's been... Long enough, like I mentioned, I played it... Probably for the better part of a year, and then I, I still don't remember half of the things. Like, I don't remember how to get up there. Probably that bridge over there, if I had to guess. That bridge over... Troubled Terrace. We got a bridge to build. With our puzzle pieces. Whoa, no, 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 no. Well, as we saw, 13 Ice Pikmin was enough to take out a large bull borb. So we're gonna do that. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, this feels really good. I could have charged them, but it's, you know, I get a little bit of, I get a little bit of joy out of the old rapid fire. Okay, and so, now I will do that. And they're gonna be smart, they're gonna go over, over the ledge. Because... There are these bad boys here. Where are you guys? Yeah, I see you. We're gonna kill all of you right here, right now. I'm not taking any chances. I just love how ruthless our eyes Pikmin are. They just in instantly free something and they're like, no, I'm gonna murder the heckin' Frick out of all of you. And in the early goings of this game, you do have to be a little bit more careful, of course. You don't have as many disposable Pikmin, especially not your ice Pikmin. In the same way that, you know, when you start in Pikmin... Ooh, there's something over there, too. That's a bit of a... That's more of a, of a plot thing. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. I'm trying to pace this out correctly. So if that's the case, I think I will go ahead and embark on this. I don't want to do too many of these at the same time, but why not? Oh, there are 20. This is why you move your base, though. Because when you're dumb like me and you need to reschedule, this wants me to use the tablet, does it? Oh, plus. Okay. Thank you, game. 
Wait, was this an unexplored one? What is this? Is this where I just was? Yeah, that's probably where I just was. I'm just saying that on the fly because I don't know for sure. Okay. So we need at least 20. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Uh, I don't know. We just need to confront whatever the heck is over there. This is so convenient. They really figured it out. And we can just say, and boop. Get on in the drink, y'all. Take a little dip. Who is this? Who is this Muppet? Huh? Quoi? Calling his French, quoi? Parlez-vous français? Dan Dory, we've heard that word before, but what does it mean? Prepare yourselves for a very reused gimmick. Get <laughs> Get them. Okay. Well, that's nice. This is a Pikmin-less challenge. I probably should have left that on screen for a little bit longer, but if you need to see it, you can pause it, I suppose. Aww. Bye, Pikmin. They don't want to go with you. This is just an Ochi and Bingus exclusive right here. You don't need your Pikmin for these types of challenges, of course, which is great. The Dandori Daycare. Yeah, so welcome to this. This game, they probably had a marketing meeting where they're like, what's, what's the thing that we're going to do in this game? And then they went real hard. You will hear that word a billion, million times in that order. So... This is basically just, these are little challenges. They're called Dandori challenges, where they're almost kind of like simulations. And you're trying to race against the clock to, to be successful. And get as many items in Pikmin as you possibly can in the time limit. A lot of fun. Not being sarcastic at all. You get more Pikmin as you play, of course. You can scoop them up. Division of labor. Yeah, see, this guy gets it. A capitalist just like us. I don't know if your Pikmin can die. I mean, these aren't real Pikmin, by the way. Simulation Pikmin. Carry stuff faster. Yeah, you're just trying to hit the goal. As you can see there, it's 90. Where the heck is Ochi at? And you can get more Pikmin, of course, like I mentioned, as you're kind of bebopping around the overworld. It's not letting me get these ones for some reason. But your goal is to collect as many items as you can. I did not tell you to stop. Let's go, my minions. I'm doing a poor job, obviously. I'm not doing great. Oh, Ochi is carrying the donut. I was like, where the heck is he? All right. Let's go ahead and tear this down. Probably should have done that first. That was dumb of me. We got these boys over here. And they're almost done. Sort of. Not really. Killing this boy. Let's go punch him on the buns. Punch his buns. Buns puncher. Don't be a buns puncher. Beards, don't do that. Ooh. Boy's mad. All right, Ochi, help out. Ow. <laughs> Jeez. He's doing a ton of damage to us. We'll send Ochi. Get him. Bite him on the buns. Ochi can bite the buns. That's fun. I don't remember what those guys are called. You should all be able to pick this up. Oh, there's only six of you. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's blow that horn and get you going. We only have 13, which is great. Oops, I don't want to do that. Did you take down this wall? Wow, I cannot talk. My brain is frizzle frazzle. You will get all kinds of monies, I guess. The goal is to be able to multitask. That's just kind of the big thing here that they really want you to focus on. I'm doing a very poor job because I'm not really paying attention, but that's okay. We got more Pikmin from doing that. That's nice. 
Yeah, any treasure you get, your Pikmin will be able to carry that back to the base. Drop the base. I don't know. I can let Ochi carry that. It's like a lemon of sorts. This is not Pikmin 3. I don't have to pretend to not know what fruit are. That is over. That's a thing of the past, viewers. So back off. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and carry these boys. Looks like there's a... A jar of something over here. We should be able to hit the... Threshold here shortly, and they will be tucking Pikmin in all kinds of weird places. Oh boy, why are you going this way? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? This seems like a poor idea, but I'm gonna do it because I'm crazy. I'm time to attack your butt as a group. We're attacking your butt as a group. Okay, so we do get a giant bull boar here. Ochi, go kill. Ochi kill. That almost looks like a Yoshi's cookie thing. Alright, out you go! And then we can just start more Pikmin on the other things. Yeah, I'm doing a really great job here. I think we're going to probably get more out of carrying the jar than anything else. We're having to go around because I am screwing this up. We gotta go the long way, which is a waste. Hopefully I am going to make this. I feel like I'm not. My first attempt at Dandori is going very poorly. Come on, don't you hear that faster? You don't get very much from the uh, the critters, unfortunately. Ochi is not doing his job. Oh yeah, he did. All right, hold on. Maybe we can still maybe we can still salvage this. If we hurry. The clock counts really fast too. No, we are not going to make this, so let's go ahead. Can I reset this? Restart. Yeah, we'll try that again. I didn't do that very well. I didn't plan my routes. They are correct, though, in stating that you do want to expand the map as fast as possible. So we're going to do that first. Break this down, because I had to go around, which is dumb. That was my fault. The sooner you can break down your walls and destroy your enemies, the better. Gonna attack this bull boar. Yeah, we're punching you, boy. You never knew this was gonna be an MMA video, but it is. Bingus is punching. Okay. Very good. Good job, Ochi. They're kind of locked in, which I think is kind of annoying. Your Pikmin are, is what I'm referring to. Initially. So realistically, what you should be doing, in opposition to what I was doing just previously, is using your Pikmin to destroy the enemies and then get through the area because they won't stop locking on until you do that, which is frustrating. But as we saw, there are some red Pikmin here. Come with me. There we go. I was like, what are you doing? Okay, we got to go up and around. So that was a gap on my end. Oops. But we do want to get more Pikmin here. So yeah, just use your, you're not using your Pikmin to carry these enemies specifically. That's not really the best thing to do. You can get plenty, though. The more you start digging stuff up. Expanding the route. Need Ochi? Oh, I'm doing basically the same level of bad as I was before. I'm not pleased with myself. Okay. We'll get some more when we kill this bull boy right here. Convenient. There's Ochi. Come here, boy. Alright, so now we want to go after this. It's really annoying. I don't know if... Can they help with this? I'm pulling this? Okay, they can. Gotta be careful, though, here, because there is a giant bull boy right behind us. Don't, don't back, back, back it up into it. Oops. Run. <laughs> Did he get one of us? No, he did not. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said sorry. Leave me alone. I, I didn't mean it. I did mean it. Ah. We'll send. Okay. 
So, like we saw before, there was a treasure in here. We will carry that. I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah, this is me doing not great. But we're a lot closer to the beagle this time around because we opened up the potted plant area, so we should be able to make way more progress. Definition of way more progress. TBD. Oh, did you get in there? Don't leave your Pikmin standing around. Yeah, you get a lot more points from the treasure, from the golden nugget things, from the chicken McNuggets. Viewers, what sort of sauce do you like on your chicken McNuggets? That's the sort of engagement that we want in 2024. I've always been a sweet and sour boy. Yeah, that jar should be getting us some good amount of points. Whoop, here we go. We'll get that going, we'll get that popping. I don't know if we can kick this down from Ochi. Not quite. Can I borrow you for a moment? Please, hello. Hello. <laughs> there we go, push that down there. That's a little bit of a shortcut. Okay, we did it. We have hit the mark. And they'll come up this way now, which is convenient. They'll be able to climb up that little yarn ladder, whatever you want to call it. And now Ochi can help with the lemon. I think that's what... Maybe that's not a lemon. Like a nectarine or something? I don't know. But we've hit the silver mark. We're doing great. Yeah, there's not really much left to do. It would have been nice to grab the... to grab the reds from over there with that boy, but I don't really care that much. These are just kind of here, so might as well. But we did at least hit the mark I needed to, so. Oh, we forgot the donut. Viewers, do you go nuts for donuts? But we win, and we got the silver mark, which is great. I'll do better in the future. This is gonna show me all the things I didn't get. So not great. But we did achieve the high score. I did very poorly there. Whenever you do these little things, you get, um, you will get raw materials and then these guys will be considered your castaway. But we're going to have a little bit of difficulty because these aren't your normal castaways. You'll soon see why. Today, let's go. LFG. Mm-hmm. So normally Dan Dory challenges are one and done. And we still need thank you game for undoing my ice pigment. We need to, oh my gosh. Did I screw myself? I might have. <laughs> I don't know if Ochi can swim yet. I feel like he can't, hold on, how do I get over it? Can I jump? I might be able to just jump, hang on, hold on. Okay, we're safe. That'd be a really, really crappy soft lock. You got stuck in there. Well, I'm not gonna be able to finish this day. That's one of the things that's complicated about doing some of these episodes is, um. There's not really a good way to pace these out once you do the caves. It's not like Pikmin 1 where each day I think was like 13 or 14 minutes. Once you start doing caves, things get a little crazy. And I'm not trying to advance the plot too much yet. But we can carry this castaway back. Now that we have frozen... Just let it go. Let it go. So once they have cleared the moat. The ice pigment will let that thaw. And it's not instantaneous, which is nice. It gives you a few seconds to get your act together. I'm going to bring this castaway back. Get ourselves another pupper point. 
one's gonna be a little bit strange though. The beagle's gonna get a little confused. Don't mock their facial hair, Colin. We're unable to read the data. For now, we're not gonna be able to make heads or tails of who that is. That's something we'll have to worry about later. Where am I going? I don't know. It would be cool to see if I can explore the upper area, but the downside to the upper part is you need more Pikmin to really make a difference there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take advantage of that with just 10 additional Pikmin. So I might actually have to advance the plot right here. Is there something under this? Ooh, there's raw materials. Milk and cereal. Raw materials. You can say it the same way. Something crazy's going on over here. That's quite a bit. But here we go, a little bit of plot. Oh, that looks like someone special. They also have a pop. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh no. Did they just drag that body down there? Uh oh. All right. Who wants to do another one of these? Okay, so two Dandoris in one episode. That's a lot. Pikmin will not be joining us, of course. Yeah, Colin, we know that. I don't know if it intends for you to, to start that Dandori challenge or this one as your first taste, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. In the previous one, we were just going after treasures and we were essentially racing against the clock, but we're gonna have a little bit more competition this time around. So the dragon castaways into their onion? What happens if they do that? Oh, you jerks. Well, that's not good. It's their Muppet converter. You skin having one. All right, so here's more of the, this Dandori nonsense. The Dandori battle. So we're essentially fighting off against this clown and it's split screen, which is great. Not annoying at all. Even harder to see what you're doing. But the more Pikmin you can get, of course, the better. They have like odd, uh... They have odd green, like, like a teal colored leaf on their heads. Not sure about what that means exactly. I think it's just to show that they're like simulation Pikmin, maybe. Or they're filled with Baja Blast. I don't know if you get more Pikmin from... Carrying enemies this time around. Ochi, get there and help! So yeah, you're just essentially racing against the NPC here. You have to be careful because they will come and attack you. So you can go and you can attack their pupper if you want, which I think is kind of hilarious. You can fight it. I don't... I would like Ochi to take out their boy. Get him! Get him! Yeah, boy! So there you go. And you can get stunned. You can essentially kind of wreck their their shiz. This is a good match, he says. Okay. It just temporarily stuns their pupper. While you're trying to collect strawberries and... I don't even know what those are. At one point I did when I was a Pikmin 3 Pro, but not currently. We're doing okay. We're in the lead, presently. Oh, 
Oh, there's a fire blowhog now. I didn't even see that. We're doing a pretty good job, though. I mean, I'm not really tackling this in a very pragmatic way, which is fine. Oh, well, that's one of their Pikmin. He's dead. Sorry. Whoop. Let's go ahead and get off here and... We're always getting off here on D my plays. Yeah, that... I love that they just kind of spawn a, uh, a fire blow hog. Yeah, so there's the... Ooh, I don't like this. Stealing my nuggets. Get out of my business here. Get back off. Get him. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Oh, is Ochi dead? <laughs> I think Ochi died. Oops. Sorry, Ochi. And they will have like these little struggles where you can fight to try to to battle over carrying the most stuff. These gold nuggets should push us over the top if we do it right. I think. Fingers crossed. We gotta hurry though. Ochi will go back to base and heal itself though, so it's not a permanent thing. Yeah, that definitely that'll nuke us up over the top. As long as we keep it popping here. Everybody go and carry the big apple. Get it back. Should be plenty though. I mean, it's close, so I don't get too ahead of myself here. Where did that bull board come from? I was not ready for that. Carry everything, go. No, there should be plenty. All you have to do is have more. I think you can get certain thresholds where like you get a medal if you get a certain amount. We beat him by 20. Easy peasy. Apple squeezy. And then it'll show you a progress map when you're done. To see how close it was. We were never trailing. We're amazing. And you get a bronze for that. Once again, I'm not trying to... To go over the top with these. And get the gold, platinum, or whatever it is. I don't care. I just want to be successful. But now we can transport this cast away. That'll give us two of them return for the day. We're just doing our job. We're doing a great job here. So once this cutscene, aka loading screen, not cutscene, gets out of the heckin' way, we'll be fine. But here we go. We got another Muppet Dandori guy. Cast away. The same condition as the leafy challenged one. Okay. And then, of course, it'll just spit this back out again. We explored 100% of that cave. You bet we did. You can get a bit of a look here. Uh, there is something on the other side of this. This is the top part of the water area, which we can't really do much with yet. We can open this up. Once we hop off Ochi. Once we hop off Ochi... Oh, we might need yellows for that. Of course, and I have none. Yay! Error. What a nice name. Is that Polish? Could the leaves be causing the error? Maybe. Yeah, I think I need... Either I need yellow Pikmin or I need a Pikmin we don't have yet. So... But that's pretty much... It for today. I'm gonna call it here in the midday. And then we'll wrap up the rest of the day in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 4, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye! -bye.